Photoshop is an excellent software that makes photo editing easy and efficient. It can enhance and manipulate images to improve their overall appearance. The program is so versatile that it can be used for a wide range of imaging tasks such as architecture, astronomy, animation, forensics, web design and medicine. Uses of Photoshop Architecture Photoshop's editing tools allow architects to make models more realistic by adding shadows and textures. Architects use 2D and 3D rendering to create more realistic models for building projects. Astronomy Astronomers use image enhancement features to process photographs of space, analyzing the images to learn more about the stars. Animation Photoshop's multi-layer rendering system allows animators to create complex characters and backgrounds. They can create animations from still images. Forensics Photoshop is used to process the vast amount of photographic evidence that come from crime scene photos. Photoshop allows technicians to process fingerprints and enhance images of crime scenes. Web Design Photoshop helps website designers to create the backgrounds, text and 3D artwork for modern websites. They can also enhance photos and images for use on websites. Medicine Photoshop helps physicians to analyze medical images by using its image analysis and measurement features. Doctors can understand the patient's condition in a better manner. Editing Images Now you will learn about the using of tools required in image editing. The selection tools are required when you want to modify a particular part of the image. A selection is an area of a photo that you define. When you create a selection, the area becomes editable. You can change, copy or delete pixels inside the selection border, but you can't touch areas outside the selection border until you deselect the selection. Adobe Photoshop provides several selection tools for different kinds of selections. The Selection Tools Selection tools are mainly of three types. Marquee Tools, Lasso Tools, Quick Selection and Magic Wand Tools Marquee Tools Marquee Tools are the most basic selection tools available in Photoshop. You can choose between Rectangular, Elliptical, Single Row or Single Column Marquee Tools option. Right click on the marquee tool. Holding down the button and select one of the marquee tool. Just click and drag around an area you want to select. You can drag your selection using move tool. Lasso tool. Marquee tool is limited by a frame like circle, rectangle, row, column. But lasso tool gives you the ability to move around areas freely without restriction. This allows you to avoid areas that you don't want to include. Click on the lasso tool from right click mouse. Drag the pointer around an area you want to select. Polygonal Lasso Tool Polygonal Lasso Tool is a freehand selection tool. Click on the Polygonal Lasso Tool from right click mouse. You don't have to drag the pointer around, just click on different points along a path that you want to select. Magnetic Lasso Tool The Magnetic Lasso Tool is a more precise than other lasso tools. It follows lines and outlines like a magnet which makes it easier to select elements with contours more precisely. Select Magnetic Lasso Tool from right-click mouse. Just click on the first point and move the pointer along the path or outline you wish to follow and finish the selection by going back to the original point. Magic Wand Tool The magic wand is used to select an area based on a specific color. This tool selects a consistently colored area. You can set tolerance in the options palette of the magic wand tool. The higher is the value, the more colors will fall into the selected area. This makes selection faster when dealing with contours and sharp edges that are normally difficult to reach and takes time to select using the freehand tools. Magic wand and quick selection share the same button space. Select and click Magic Wand Tool. Bring the tool over the image 
and simply click on a certain color in a desired area you want to select. Quick Selection Tool The Quick Selection Tool works similar to the magic wand. It selects areas based on color and tone. Just click on an area you want to include in the selection and Photoshop will automatically determine the area you want selected. It extends the selection to other areas that you want to choose to include. You can choose Add to Selection and Subtract from Selection options in the Tool options to include or remove certain areas. It makes selections quick and easy. Moving an object in Workspace You can move the current selection from one place to another. When selection is moved, the back end is filled with background color. Select a portion of the image using any selection tool. Click on Move tool or press V to select Move tool. Click somewhere within the selection and drag it to some new location. Copying a part of an image The Move tool allows you to quickly create a copy of your selection. Select a part of an image using any selection tool. Click on the Move tool. Hold the Alt key and click and drag selection to a different location. You will see that a copy is created for you and moved to a new location. Copying a part of an image to a different document. Select an area from the current image and select copy from the edit menu. Open another document and press paste from edit menu. Select an area. Select copy. Select open. Select Other File and click Open. Select Paste. Image Copy to Different Document. Cropping an image to a circle. You must have seen photographs that are cropped to a perfect circle. There are tools in Photoshop to make this simple and easy. Follow these steps to crop a photograph to a circle. Open your image in Photoshop. At this point, you should have the image and no other layers. Double click on the background layer and make it a normal layer. Click OK. We want background to go away and the lock to disappear. Select the elliptical marquee tool. Drag your mouse and create a circle. If you hold shift while moving the mouse, it will retain a perfect circle. Go to the toolbar and select and then inverse. This will inverse the layer. Once you click Inverse, a dashed box will appear around the rest of the image. Press Delete key to delete the outer layers. Saving an image Save the image as a .psd format using Save as dialog box and selecting the .psd format from the drop-down. This will save the image with no background. No color or pattern will be there behind this the border will start with your perfect circle. Click on File and then Save As. Type file name, select file format and click Save.